and welcome to Nibby Studio. If you've seen my past videos, I hope you like them, and I know it's been so long since I've made a video, and I've been thinking if I could do something new. So I got an idea. Why don't I try something new? Which is, um, yeah, uh, duh. So I am gonna be making something new, and it's actually, uh, it's a type of art, uh, how do I say this? So, if you see the headline, it's going to be called, How to Make a, or Sculpt, um, a 3D Dog. And, yeah, I'm going to be making it out of, um, things that might be not, like, as costly. So, I hope you like this video, and I hope you like, share, and subscribe to these videos, and click the bell icon for more videos like these. Thank you. I hope you like this video. So hey, um, yeah, you can see me, um, doing stuff, <laughs> yeah, totally not messing up, but okay, let me just start with one thing, um, the reason why I'm using a Pringles can, the tiny ones, um, is because, um, it's actually approximately right of the size, um, right to the size of, like, the dog, the Siberian Husky that I'm making, um, it's, a uh, body. Since I'm making it as part one today, I won't be showing you how to make the body, but there's a part two coming up soon, because I have a very, very good idea, very, very good idea of making it, but I hope it works, because this is actually really new to me and i mean i've tried two things two things before experimenting on this dog i've made one other dog which is bigger than this i'm sure because the head was very very big and the body was too um and uh also i also made a platypus yeah a platypus i don't know how it turned out it was pretty good but not the best so <laughs> Um, just a tip, uh, if you guys want to know, uh, I don't know if you want to know because, uh, can't see you in real life, but yeah, um, just a tip, uh, if you're using silver foil or if you're using anything else to make a sculpture of the dog, you can make a paper, um, you can make it out of paper, you can make it out of tissue, or maybe even, um, anything else that can make, like, a model or a structure of the puppy we're gonna be making, um, anyway, uh, yeah, and then the nose is kind of easier, kind of, because I had to struggle two times making the nose again. This is the first time, so you can see how it doesn't look really like a nose. Uh, and I was struggling to try to make it. Well, it's just luck, you know? <laughs> it's just luck. I'm not getting luck these days, but whatever. Um, so now it's better. It's actually very, 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 way better. So I'm going to be using glue gun. Um, just a heads up, please don't use it without parents' permission. And um, please be very, very careful even if you have parents' permission. Or like ask a parent or a grown-up to do it for you instead. Or you could use Elmer's glue, super glue. I'm not sure about that. It might not be the most safest thing but um anything is fine and maybe even tape you could use that also um so now you'll be seeing me gluing stuff um that's actually because um the silver foil didn't really stick there as a model or a piece of structure of the nose i mean 
yeah, the mouth, I guess. Um, so I'll be gluing that in, and then I'm gonna take my glue gun and glue that in, trying to find where it is. It's really hard, really. <laughs> So, I didn't really show it in this video, but actually, I struggled finding where I glue gunned my ears, which is actually pretty funny. It's a very funny joke, but, um, I hope I could have, like, really, like, taken it, but I really didn't take it, so, uh, eh, oh well. Um... The reason why I was thinking of doing a dog was because I already did a dog, and I love dogs. Just saying, no offense cats, I just don't like you. <laughs> so the ears were easy, actually. Um, they were just, um, they're very thin, if you can see. It's not really as thick as the head and the mouth structure. So, uh, yeah, you see me gluing there, but... <laughs> I actually forgot where I kept it. I'm just like searching for it. I'm like, wait, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? I'm like, oh no, okay. Oh, okay, I found it. So that's how like the story is. But okay, yeah. Um, right now I don't really like the ears. I will fix it later. So <laughs> just a heads up again. Um, anyway. Funny story, actually. So, recently, during COVID-19, my sister's friend came um, home unexpected, actually. Very unexpected. Um, so, it was, like, at night, kind of, somewhere, like, 6.37, and it was very dark outside, and basically, like, um... My sister didn't really also know that, like, she would be coming. And so, basically... <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but yeah, um, there was like a knock on the door and then we, um, we were like checking who it was and like my mom doesn't really like dogs, so, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I don't like big dogs, let me just say, um, their dog was like, um, his name was Coco and he was like a Labrador breed, like seriously, that was creepy, um, I mean, it wasn't creepy, but it was really unexpected very unexpected um so uh, she knocked on the door and like she was very tall so we thought like she was a lady from like our neighborhood trying to tell us something because most likely that might be the thing that will happen <laughs> and it was very funny because my mom to uh, opened the door <laughs> and the dog just pounced in just like a few months ago we saw a picture of it and it was like a baby puppy and right now it's like so big it's an adult and so it was really scary and so basically i hid um i hid under the laundry place i mean i closed the door of the laundry and i was just staying there being like oh no i can't go outside i mean the dog's there what if it pounces on me and all and it was pretty funny um and um so she came there because she wanted me, uh, my sister to meet Coco, her dog, like pet it and all. That's fine. But like she was asking if like they could go on a walk right now. And I was just, she was just like, what? All of us was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that's a funny thing. Um, but I'm not going to say like I'm scared of all big dogs because my dad once took me to his um office and we wanted to pet a dog it was like um his name is simba and he was very very humongous very very humongous um like even taller than coco i think i don't know <laughs> um and he was like a mali poodle or a toy poodle breed very big very big actually because he was very old also so um but he was such a calm dog dog i love those calm dogs even if they're like big they're just like calm so calm and i love that i mean like come on so oh well uh yeah that's the story <laughs> okay um so moving on um right now you'll see me gluing things with elmer's glue like i said in the instructions things like the things you'll need um it's actually um i can 
kind of experimented with the cotton and silver foil sticking with Elmer's glue because um, I tried it with the platypus and it kind of really didn't work. So I was very worried about it and um, my glue gun wasn't really working well. Well, there wasn't much glue gun left, so I had no choice but to use it and it thankfully worked. And I guess the fur really well felt really great um just a tip again um once you do like one whole like the whole dog like fill it with cotton or the thing you're gonna be using as far texture um you should probably like smoothen it it's really much better it's like texture would turn so much better so that's why you'll see me like like smoothening it so many times so haha <laughs> yeah uh just a heads up again i don't know why i'm giving so many heads up but yeah um after that um i'll be kind of starting to get an idea of what it will look like with fur texture and all those things like that and like i have like an idea of how the eyes will be like where it'll be kept and all those things like that so um you'll see me doing that in a few minutes later I guess so yeah um, I'm just gonna be showing you how it looks like and also um, this part of the body like under it it should be kept like that just saying because um, you'll have to glue it to your body so you need some place which is not filled with cotton at least um, I mean you don't have to waste cotton so I don't really want to waste my cotton so I didn't really use the whole place and now you'll be seeing me using this tissue and water yeah uh, so I took a Pringles can and then put water in it and then put tissue and you should really do this as a practice because then it'll get more smoothened the tissue it will um, you know how like it has a lot of fiber in it and all so um you should really do this like to make the texture really like smoothen <laughs> I don't know why I'm using the word smoothen now, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you just have to do that for like, you know, making it a little bit much better. But it's also fine if you just keep it under there and just like wait for it to dry a little bit more, I guess. Um, so you want it wet because it will stick to the silver foil eye structure and the nose of course <laughs> so that's kind of why i'm doing this i just want it to kind of stick in and be a little better and like you know actually stick so yeah um <laughs> okay uh yeah so there we go uh also um if you want to make it dry the eyes just saying it should like wait for some time um uh because it's kind of like made out of tissue and even the nose so you might see like two dots over there they're kind of like the eye structure <laughs> so um i'll show you how to do that and right now in a minute i'm gonna be showing you how to do that but right now i'm kind of like doing the whole thing and now i did so the way i did it was make a structure of the nose i'm gonna just show you how i did the tissue thing so um just make a random structure which will fit your dog or your husky in other words and then basically you just have to um take tissue um take tissue and then basically kind of uh let's just say wrap it around um yeah you have to like take tissue and then wrap it around and try to just like make it smoothened again yeah again you have to make the thing smoothened so yeah okay so let's get to the point okay you got tissue we're just gonna smoothen it up like make it very flat and uh, just take like a very flat piece of it and then just wrap it around like i just said and then like yeah, just take it off, pierce it off, and then you have extra, so you just need to, like, wrap it around, try to make the whole place, like, of it just very, very tissue-y, I guess. <laughs> So just a heads up, um, after two um, hours, I think, or a few more hours, let me just say, um, it will dry up, and only then you should go to the next step. 
So, um, please wait for it to dry, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so that was a fresh break to kind of relax. And so I'm back, and right now it just dried up, and I'm just gonna be gluing in um the thing inside um so um hope you enjoy i guess and um if you want you can fast forward this because if you have done this step please do and don't forget to actually see this video in detail because um sometimes things might go wrong so i do not want you to just mess up and be like okay i just messed this whole thing up and wasted all this cotton or all this glue gun thingy or all this sticking or this um silver foil for nothing so i don't want that to happen so i want you to be very careful while doing this and um so i just want to give you an experience and just like you know uh to just warn you so um i actually struggled um with the eyes because the eyes is kind of a little too hard to do it was kind of like um in the wrong position it was kind of like sideways so i had to redo it i didn't show it in this video but um when i was like looking through it i just noticed that it was a little slanted and tilted so um just be very careful i just want to give you a warning and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video It's me and um right now i'm just gonna be starting with the eyes i got some water i got some colors i used ultramarine blue um for the dark blue and i used uh columbia blue for the light blue and um i got black you might think just plain black but it's actually called lamb black and for right actually <laughs> but right it's a long story i got a big fat bottle filled with a lot of white acrylic paint and i would really recommend using white acrylic paint and i mean acrylic paint overall i'm gonna just take my tiny brush and i'm gonna start with doing the nose um so let's just start with just putting the nose into like a black just lamb black um um, black typical black anyway you don't really need to add brown but if you feel like it's just too much dark um I think it's fine but like some people might think that it's a little too dark so you can add a little bit of brown or just make a blackish brown mixture or there might be like um there might be like paint colors that are blackish brown related so if you have any color that thing that you think is like perfect for the nose you can try it on and let me know how it looks like maybe add a picture in the comment below and i will let you know in the comments below in the description below actually um what colors i'll be using and um acrylic basically and so now i'm just gonna be um doing the eyes so it's just a big circle but it kind of mainly covers up the whole eye most of the eye uh, if you like look at it you'll be like okay it's most likely covered with black you won't really see that much of the iris but it's actually true i'm just gonna do that so um if you want you can like search up some images of husky puppies and i think that really might help you i actually searched up some images of what the puppy should be oh look at that so dark black <laughs> Okay, so moving on. Anyways, I have to dry it up because I have to do the iris now. We have to do the iris. So I got the iris in one eye. I'm going to show you how I did it. I mixed a little bit of Columbia Blue and Ultra Blue. 
uh, I mean ultramarine blue, sorry. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna make that mixture and then I just kind of put it in the sides. So you could probably see a little bit of the iris because if the dog's just plain black, I mean, it just doesn't really make any sense. So I'm just gonna be doing the eyes with that kind of blue. You can choose, go ahead and choose any type of blue you want. I just like this blue and I think this might be like a really cool color. And so you might be asking like, why am I having like a bunch of white? I actually put a lot of white, but we will be using white. And if you guessed it right, if you guessed, um, we'll be kind of using it for highlights. You're right. And and we are going to be using it for the highlights because we need some highlights. Highlights make them actually look good. Okay, I'm going to smoothen the fur and I think it looks good. Moving on, let's get the highlight part. Um, so you can see I just made a little dot and that's the highlight. I love the highlight part. I just love it. It just makes it look actually like a dog. And for me, it's the main part for me of like for the eyes i'm just like without that it looks so ugly <laughs> anyway moving on let's start with the fur if you know huskies they have a little bit of black fur on the top mixture of black and white um kind of like a dimension but a little bit more of black and there are like shades of black in it so i'm gonna be using the same black so haha <laughs> Uh, funny story, I actually used a little bit more of black. I just didn't show it in the video, so if you need more, just use it. I just mixed it with water so that it can actually kind of be a lot, so that I can kind of, like, do it. And so, I'll be just starting with experimenting where it's going to be, and please, 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 I recommend to search up an image and check it out. Of course, you can check this video and just do the same thing I'm doing, but... Just in case, if you want to get a better idea, um, be sure to do that. And so this is the first layer. You can see that I was kind of done. Just need to do a little bit. So this is my first layer. I kind of did mostly uh, about right, I guess. I'd say it's about right. <laughs> so I did the back a little bit and I also did a little bit of the front. So, hmm. It actually looks pretty good and I like how it turned out. So this is my first layer, yay. <laughs> so for some reason, I'm obsessed with showing it to the side. It just looks so much better. Anyways, I made the ears out of cotton, you know the rest. And so basically I'm gonna be starting now with um, painting the ears. I'll be showing you how to do that in this one. Um, so you would probably need black, and so you can see me doing a lot of black. So do the black on the back of the ears, so, um, if you see, like, an actual image again, I'm just saying, please search up an image and see it, so you should put, like, black on the back, and then, um, basically in the front you can put a little bit of pinkish reddish kind of color so you'll be seeing me doing that in a minute or two um so i'm just gonna be covering up this back piece of the dog it's very very dark black and i got the ears it's just a little bit of pink uh pinkish color i didn't like the way it was right now so you'll be seeing me fixing it so this is how it looks like so overall this is how the husky's head will look like so i really hope you like this and i really hope you like how it turned out to be so this is just how it looks like i just love it it looks really cute and it really looks like a realistic husky puppy so i hope you like it too and i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and see more of my other videos and i can't wait to do part two of making a realistic husky so see you then i hope you have a great day bye
I said, I'm going to be introducing you to my two models that I did before this. This is my platypus. His name is Blues. You can see that in there. I actually gifted this to my dad. Um, And also, I can take him off. And he actually looks super cute. I'm not done with that. And also, like I said, I have a tiny puppy that I already made. Actually, it's bigger than the puppy that I introduced to you. Her name is Destiny. I named her because my mom actually told her, I mean, like, the name about that. And I was like, okay, that's actually a pretty good name. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And you can see all the three models. Looks like he wants to play around. And now the platypus is on. I don't think he likes it. Hope you like this video. Bye!